previously on the Science of. There are plenty of scientific conversations going on in the country. These conversations are good and need to be had. There is a disturbing trend in America today. Uh, I think he was speaking colloquially. This is not a detective grilling a suspect. This is not a cook grilling a steak. I say the word there, or the word to, or the word your. Context is important here. You cannot simply switch up the spellings of these words arbitrarily. The same thing applies to scientific versus colloquial definitions. It's all about context. Science has its own scientific definitions of words. So with that in mind, the next few videos will be explaining the scientific meanings of words, which are too often used colloquially. And now, the continuation. Hello Internet, and welcome to the Science Of, using sci-fi and the news to educate people on how science actually works here in the real world. What do the following conversations have in common? Organic food is now so popular, demand for chemical-free produce has doubled in the past 10 years. It also means organic farming is now our fastest-growing agricultural industry. Two presidential candidates, Rand Paul and Chris Christie, raised questions over the wisdom of government mandating vaccines for children. For some, GM food promises to feed the world. For others, it's the devil in disguise. Responding to chemical and biological threats takes teamwork and extensive training. Aside from the obvious, there are two vitally important things they have in common. One, these conversations are rooted in science. And two, one side is using the colloquial definition of the word chemical. Granted, a third common element is that they all share the general goal of government-wide and slash or industry-wide change to improve the health and lives of the general population, yet at the end of the day, their root is still in science. It is important to get the science right in order to get the government and industry changes right. The best way to start this conversation is to have the scientific definition correct. The commonly used definition of the word chemical seems to be the second definition provided by Wiktionary, as in, it is an artificial chemical compound. This definition, of course, has the connotation of being bad for the environment and bad for health. Since this is a slang definition in a science conversation, it is the wrong use of the term. We aren't interrogating a steak, remember? Very much like the word theory, using the colloquial version of chemical is in poor taste and tactics. Since the context is science, we have to use the scientific definition of the word. So what is the scientific definition? To best explain it, I've broken the term down into two digestible parts. First, we have to realize that it is a short version of the phrase chemical substance, and is usually used interchangeably with pure substance. Once we realize this fact, we can work on defining the term. Like my theories video, I've used these three common textbooks to get my definitions from. They all define the term the same way as matter that has distinct properties and a constant composition that does not vary from sample to sample and cannot be separated by physical means. The term physical here is by way of Newtonian physics, so that is without reacting with another substance to make other substances which weren't there before. This definition includes atoms, compounds, molecules, and ions, and this includes all states of matter. Notice that I left out mixtures from that list. Does that mean mixtures do not contain chemical compounds? Certainly, mixtures do contain compounds. Mixtures just happen to be defined as having two or more compounds. This means that they can be separated through non-chemical means. For example, the concept of distilling your favorite alcoholic beverage involves removing some of the water from the alcohol through evaporation, a physical process. The final product in your liquor collection is still a mixture and I know this because there is no commercially available 200 proof alcohol intended for drinking anywhere in the world. I've only personally seen 200 proof alcohol one place in my life. And that's in the chemistry lab in bottles labeled reagent grade ethanol. So next time you're in a scientific conversation and the word chemical comes up, request that they use the scientific definition of the word. If they ask what it is, then bring up this video or its sources. Should they refuse, Bring up puppies or celebrities, something where having a Fox News vocabulary would not incite an intellectual riot. Sort of
open it right here. A, a company say that you know there's all these controls in there that you can monitor the time. And you can you know, but basically the box, Pandora's box is open. I mean, kids have access to these things, and unless you're hovering over them every second, they're going to find ways to see this stuff on, on the internet. You know, the top question in everyone's mind is, given the fact that we are dealing with the cases as I just described of Ebola uh, and potential infections moving forward, why not? Just as a precaution, till we get things under control. Yeah. Seal off the border temporarily. One of the complaints from gun owners no, no, is no. that this this punishes law about citizens while doing nothing to prevent the horrors of Sandy Hook. By those countries that follow strict Sharia law, uh, they're not that far away from ISIS and some of their beliefs in particular about women, are they? This must raise the debt ceiling in less than two weeks, or for the first time in our history, the country goes into default. <sighs> well, that was heavy. Well, tune in next time when I will be talking about how the government of the state of Maine is using law to mitigate damage to the state economy which global climate change will cause. As you will see, this video was necessary for that one. So subscribe to stay informed. Don't forget to like, favorite, and share this video. Follow me on social media, links in the description. And as always, until next time, keep learning, keep growing, and keep improving the world around you.